Okay, welcome to another Ginger Mathematician video. So I got a request to actually do a prediction video for the IGCSE Maths Paper 2, the 0580 course. So I've already made a prediction video for 0607, so please check that out just above me here. But I'm going to go through my predictions for IGCSE Paper 2, 0580. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so let's get started on looking at my prediction for the IGCSE Paper 2, 0580. So the paper is one hour and 30 minutes, a calculator is allowed for the questions, although as I'll talk about with the fractions a bit later on, uh, sometimes it will say without calculator, do this or show you're working. Um, so I've divided it into the three sections, so sometimes, uh, often and all, almost certain. So we'll start with the sometimes. Even amongst my sometimes section, you can see two of the topics, so variation proportion, so y is proportional to x cubed, y is proportional to x plus 2 all squared, things like this. This still comes up 18, 13 papers. So what I've done here is I've checked the last two years of papers. Uh, this 0580 course also has an extra paper in India uh, in the March time as well. So there's an extra paper to consider. They also have lots of similarity questions as well. So working between length, volume and area scale factors. So if you've got a length scale factor, say of a half, then your volume scale factor would be a half cubed, which is one over eight. I also want to identify topics to, that on the paper two have turned up less than or equal to six in 13 papers. So most of these topics here, so constructions, angle calculations, probability, etc., as you can see in front of you, quite a few of these are actually quite orientated to the paper four. So if I take, for example, probability, that's much more of a paper four topic. So if I was to predict on paper four, I certainly would put probability much, much higher. Uh, likewise with functions, I also would. Some kind of sequences work with nth terms, I would. Circle theorems can sort of fluctuate between both papers. But if I was to start a paper four prediction, I would certainly highlight these four topics in particular as topics I would look at in more detail. Notice trigonometric equations has come up. So things like four cos x minus two equals zero. Uh, this is generally at the harder end of the course. And if you get a question with angles in polygons, then really know your exterior angles. Yeah, 360 divided by the number of sides. That's a really important fact that can get you around many different kind of angles and polygons questions. Okay, so that's my sometimes section here. And if you're liking the content that you're watching currently, then please do consider liking and subscribing and sharing with your friends as well. Okay, thank you. Okay, and now this is my often section. And you can see actually with the often section, it's probably a bit more than often. It's getting towards almost certain, particularly at the top end. Uh, the first thing to look at is area of 2D shapes. A particular sector of circles, I've known that come up in the last few years quite a lot, so know how to work that out. Uh, speed distance time is much more prevalent on the 0580 course rather than the course that I teach. So know how to work with speed distance time graphs and particularly work out the total distance traveled, so work out the area under a graph. That's really important. Algebraic fractions I've put into a separate section and they come up a whopping 10 in 13 times. This is when you get two fractions, say 2x minus 4 over x minus 2 plus x plus 5 over x minus 3 and you have to combine them together. Um, that is fairly common and it's in my often calcu uh, calculation. Uh, percentage calculations have come up pretty often, 9 in 13 papers. So work out percentage change, compound interest, working backwards through a compound interest problem. Something particular to 0, 0580, it's upper and lower bounds. So knowing uh, to take 0.5 in either direction. And if you get a fraction question with upper and lower bounds, then the upper bound will be equal to the biggest numerator divided by the smallest denominator. Something that often people forget. If you're doing IB, this is a very useful topic for the applications courses. Uh, vectors has come up 9 in 13 times. Also lends itself to paper 4, but can come up in paper 2, as you can see. Uh, know your vector algebra know how to work out magnitude of a vector. With Venn diagrams, you need to know your set notation. You need to be able to shade in Venn diagrams. This is very similar to the course I teach. And interestingly, matrices has come up seven in 13 papers. So yeah, just over, yeah, just over 50%. Uh, you need to know how to work out the inverse. So know the formula for that, the determinant, how to work that out. And then there was one question that came up where they combine matrices with transformations. So make sure you at least got the awareness of how that works. So this is my often category. I think that these are going to come up pretty often. Again, prioritize the topics at the top of this list rather than at the bottom. 
Okay, and the section I'm sure you've been waiting for, which is my almost certain category, and if we take our first category at the top here, equations, simultaneous equations, inequalities, these combined together has come up a whopping 19 in 13 papers, which is crazy. Yeah? So on average, there is roughly 1.5 questions per paper. That's kind of crazy. Um, inequalities I want to pop out in particular. There have been a lot of graphical inequalities questions. Now, I actually recorded a video of my inequalities uh, part three. I'll actually go through these kind of questions, but that has come up a lot recently. So if I was to revise one thing from here in particular, graphical inequalities would be what to do. Uh, following on from this, fractions. So there's usually one question per paper where they say without calculator, work out this fraction calculation. They may put some bid mass in there as well or bob mass. And it does it stay explicitly without a calculator. Again, some kind of fraction question has come up pretty much every time, and sometimes they put a recurring decimal to fraction question too. Uh, factorizing expanding brackets, so this has come up very, very often. Similar to the course I teach, 0607. Uh, know how to complete the square, that's really important, that's come up a couple of times. And the splitting the term method for factorizing, because sometimes they design the algebra in such a way that you need to split the term. Uh, trigonometry has come up very, very often, uh, mostly using Sokotoa and using it in the 3D context. So be able to take out the 2D shape and then use trigonometry on that. Sometimes they put a sine cosine rule style question in there with the ambiguous case and might combine that with bearings too. Index laws, as always on these IGCC Cambridge papers, is very, very popular. So working with fractional indices, negative indices, working with the coefficients as well, so that's very, very important. And likewise, coordinate geometry seems to be a favourite of IGCSC Cambridge as well. So working out gradients, working out perpendicular bisector of a line, working out line segments using Pythagoras, midpoints, um, rearranging formulae, this is quite specific to 0580, to make why the subject, they do like those kind of questions. Again, come up every year in some way. And then statistics, so kind of group this all together, and there's been at least one statistics question per paper. Uh, often they've put a scatter graph question on there where you need to plot a few points, uh, work out correlation, uh, positive or negative, and then put in a line of best fits. That's been quite common. Uh, there's also been a couple of questions on histograms. There's been a box plot question, a box and whisker diagram, and a cumulative frequency question as well. So if you group all those together, some kind of statistics question will be there. Okay, hope you enjoyed the video. Okay, hopefully it was useful to you. Again, put in the comments below if you want an IGCC paper four a prediction video for 0580. This is for the exams in 2021. Hopefully you found this useful. All right, bye-bye for now.